Word on the grapevine currently seems to indicate the Galaxy S24 series will arrive next year with the Exynos 2400 in tow. Not much is known about the next-gen Samsung flagship SoC, but a leak now purports to throw light on the chipset's CPU performance. Samsung is reportedly developing the Exynos 2400 with the idea of debuting it with the Galaxy S24 lineup. But even if this turns out to be correct, a new rumor says that the company might divide the chipset across the Galaxy S24 series in a very unusual way. The rumor explores the possibility that Samsung could use the Exynos 2400 only for the base S24 model. And even in that case, the standard S24 would still be divided between Exynos 2400 and Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 markets. However, in some markets, Galaxy S24 buyers would be getting stuck with the Exynos 2400. Meanwhile, the S24 Plus and Ultra would use the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 exclusively in every market without adopting the Exynos 2400 anywhere. It would be powered only by Qualcomm, which could satisfy the exclusivity contract between Samsung and the US chipmaker. Details of the Exynos 2400 remain unknown at this point, but a new leak appears to provide insight into the performance credentials of the chipset. The Exynos 2400 is expected to outperform the current Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chips and possibly square up with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy. As per the latest leak, the Exynos 2400 could garner a single-core average score of 1530 and a multi-core average of 6210 on Geekbench 5. The corresponding numbers for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy are not available. However, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy scored 1556 and 4987 in single-core and multi-core testing. Interestingly, the Exynos 2400 might be a hit if Samsung can get all the pieces right and some recent rumors sound promising. This might be the last chance for Samsung to prove that its Exynos and chipset manufacturing process are top-notch. So weirdly, there's a chance that the base Galaxy S24 models powered by Exynos will be a sleeper hit. That is, assuming Samsung's next in-house chip will deliver great power and the Exynos 2400-enabled S24 will have enough battery life to match the Snapdragon variants. As for the reasons why Samsung might reserve the Exynos 2400 only for the base S24 model, there could be many. Samsung may have to respect some agreements with Qualcomm. The company may also want to avoid scaring away customers after it gave them the superior Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 experience for the Galaxy S23 flagships. And perhaps Samsung wants to prove to the world and foundry clients that the Exynos 2400 is a fantastic chip without breaking the bank on manufacturing it in large quantities. All things combined, oddly enough, might make the base S24 model powered by the Exynos 2400 really good or at the very least on equal footing with Qualcomm's solution. But if this pans out, as Samsung seemingly hopes it will, it could turn the tide in favor of Exynos for the Galaxy S25 series in 2025 and Samsung chipsets could become the preferred choice. So, what are your thoughts on bringing the Exynos on the base models of S24 lineup? Share your valuable thoughts below in the comment section. And if you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel will be massive and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you for the next time. Peace out.